Clayton Muhammad is the Chief Communications and Equity Officer of the City of Aurora and member of its Color Me Warhol team. Also, Clayton is a great old friend of mine. Most we used definitely. to work together yeah, in Aurora um, when I was at the Paramount. Yeah. And Clayton has gone on to do great things oh, for the city you. of Aurora, always, always, always. And now as their chief communication and diversity officer, yes. you're doing even bigger oh, work. Thank you. It's hometown for me, you know, so it's full circle. You know, just born and raised here. Now to be able to work for the last 10 years in this capacity, merging communications with, with, with equity, with diversity, uh, and just really working to showcase Aurora in its best light. That's awesome. And Aurora, I mean, I, I have a big place in my heart from having run the Paramount Most there and definitely. getting to we know people. You. It's a tight community. Very much so. We saw it the largest, smallest town or the smallest, largest town around there. It is. Although we're the second largest city in Illinois, 200,000 people, it really is. Not even six degrees of separation in Aurora. We'd say maybe two degrees of separation in the city. No question. <clears throat> no question. And the it. engagement in Aurora yeah. is, is, um, truly unique like the Very whole so. town will rally around good it. ideas and yeah. support each other definitely and i think i think also the diversity in the town yeah. gives it more texture all the time there and we say you, you know, know? Our, uh, we were rated one of the most diverse cities in america by wallet hub like number eight in the united states uh, and we rest upon that diversity is a, a fact in aurora this is what reality our job uh, is to pull the acts around it, the acts of equity, the acts of inclusion, be very intentional and deliberate mm -hmm. with what we do to bring uh, folks together. Mayor Irvin's uh, mantra has been for 20 years, long before he was mayor, one Aurora. And that's our goal. I agree. One Aurora coming together. Well, and all right, and I'm going to be a little biased, but yeah. I also think you have a very rich, you've always, you have a long history of having a rich cultural and art scene Definitely. because you have the Paramount there, you yes. have Ridgeburg's Edge Park. Yes. But you also, you also have the Art Commission. You have a, a, a beautiful building with art shows. Most and, definitely. And what do they call, there's lofts that, that the city appropriated mm -hmm. to let artists live there at an affordable price. The Artists and Lofts. The yeah. Artists and Lofts Most program. definitely, yeah. So it's those kinds of programs that really put your money where your mouth is, that For you sure. really invest in and enriching the lives of not only the community, but artists, and Most you make definitely. it a home for artists. Most definitely. To be successful. Yeah. And I think that helps with the diversity. Of course, most definitely. And we, we've watched that grow, particularly over the last uh, decade or so. And you see a downtown coming alive again. You know, the Paramount uh, coming in with their Broadway series, bringing in over 300,000 people a year to downtown Aurora, really re-energizing it. First Friday is Aurora, art, music, and more. Every first Friday, we're kind of building upon, you know, those, 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 those steps and those cornerstones to make the community stronger again. And arts has had a core piece of that. And that's why Color Me Warhol, is, 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 we're so excited about bringing now this new layer of texture uh, to downtown Aurora. So Aurora. tell everybody about Color Me Warhol. Warhol and yeah. what you have planned. Yeah, well, first of all, thanks for you for leading the way for DuPage County. Aurora's in four counties, DuPage is one of them. Um, and so we're able to connect with you on, on the, on the we're venture. We're so thrilled. Uh, well, so are we, definitely. So for us, and Color Me Warhol is really taking downtown Aurora this summer, uh, calling it an immersive summer experience of Warhol. Um, and, and we know his impact on culture in general. Mm -hmm. uh, and we know our importance of culture in Aurora and how do we merge those two uh, together. And so we have a series of three uh, night events or evening events, uh, Studio 54 on Stope Avenue. Fun. And Stope Avenue is one of our main strips in downtown. We're also called Blues Alley. And as you sure. know, just so much rooted history for over a century of the blues right in downtown Aurora, Bluebird Records, the Leland Tower. Say the name of the record company. Yeah, Bluebird. Bluebird, Bluebird Records. Records started in Aurora. Most definitely, yeah. That's right. You have a huge blues background. Most definitely. And our more. annual blues fest history. bringing historically, most definitely, our annual blues festival bringing in tens of thousands of people every year. So, what is well. your blues festival? It's always Father's Day weekend. There, so, so, Father's Day weekend, mm -hmm. if you're here for Warhol, make it a weekend and go to Aurora and most go definitely. to the Blues Fest. They most do a definitely. fabulous job. Yeah, we're excited about that. So, that same strip of Stope Avenue that has history in the blues and arts, we're closing down. You know, Studio 54, we know how critically important that was to the life of Warhol, but just to culture in general oh, into yeah. the 70s, early 80s, and all the celebrities that had to go through there. That was just a place you had to stop right. to if you're in New York. And so we're going to transform those nights uh, June 8th and June 13th, uh, July 13th, pardon me, June 8th and July 13th, Thursday nights. So we're kicking off Perfect. the weekends, you know, music, art, 
culture, entertainment, maybe some impersonators, those individuals who would so frequent uh, Studio 54. And then our final one is on Sunday, August 6th, which would have been Warhol's 95th birthday, uh -huh. a big birthday bash. And so awesome. Warhol may make appearance himself, so we're looking forward to that. Uh, and some of his, his, his closest friends and those individuals like Diana Ross maybe will show up as well. Oh, uh, and God. Donna Summer, we're just giving some of the folks that may show up, uh, kind of recreating that Studio 54 I'm experience. Be there. We, we want you to be there. I was, so, you know, when I was doing research on Studio 54, we're yeah. going to have a Studio 54 exhibit in the museum, right? Beautiful. So, yeah. when I was doing research on it, and they and and they interviewed the doorman. Yes. And they said that the 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 author of the story said the doorman at Studio 54 was the most influential person in New York City because he said who's in and who's out, right? Definitely, and yeah. So everybody wanted to, you know, get in, and he was the guy deciding. Most definitely. And he said. Uh, they did an interview with him and he said, although everybody thought it was the most exclusive club in the city, yeah. the real thing they were looking for was people that were diverse, yes. different, Definitely. unique, yes. had, a, had a point of view to offer, Definitely. and the people who were shaping New York City. Yeah. But he said, in reality, those people were the most inclusive people. Most they weren't definitely. judgmental, they yes. weren't racist, they weren't, you know, definitely. they weren't, um, uh, you know, prejudice against people who are gay. It was Definitely. a live and let live yeah. place where everybody and all of these true artists and zeitgeist makers who are really creating the culture of fashion, style, film, music, yes. all came together and it was the place everybody wanted to be around them. Well, Definitely. those people are all different and interesting. They're not no all the same, what. right? Yep. And I thought that was interesting that he said, people have it all wrong. Yeah. It, it was the most inclusive environment and once you were in it was people who would really embrace each other have yeah. fun and feed off of each other and not yeah. be sitting there taking a picture in the corner <laughs> or you know telling a the story they yeah. would be engaged and, and for me that is aurora you yeah. know that's who we are when we come together for our events andy warhol i think said it best he said at studio 54 is a dictatorship at the door but a democracy on the dance floor yes so when you you had to get through that doorman to get in that right. he, he had his, his rules but when you got in we're all together and that's the feel we're looking for from studio 54 on stope avenue in downtown aurora it has we're a whole it. new meaning with you guys doing yeah. this yeah. event right because you really walk the walk and talk the talk most definitely so that's why when you you brought the idea and, and you look at a regional approach to it, it's a natural for us. You know, uh, those of us who, who studied and loved Warhol just on our own individual basis mm -hmm. there, to be able to connect the mission, the culture, uh, his life and, and legacy to Aurora, it's just a natural. It is. Uh, if I can come back to that June 8th event, that's our ribbon cutting event. So that okay. night we're going to cut the ribbon. Uh, we're going to expand upon our famous four uh, faces that have been, you know. Tell us who your famous four are. Most definitely, most definitely. We have Anna Lee, uh, a young Asian, also an Olympic gold medalist, graduate of Wabonzi Valley High School in Aurora. Uh, we have, yeah, most definitely, a number of school districts in Aurora. We wanted them all represented. We have the great Mary Lou Chapa, the oh, first ever that. Latina businesswoman in the city of Aurora, and the work she continues to do in her uh, eighth uh, decade of life. We love her. So vivacious and so ready to go. And so uh, committed. So committed in, in every way. And she was a mentor to so many of us. Yeah, she's uh, like a course, mother to, to, the, to she the was community. Helpful. She was supportive of me. I know who you're, yeah, she's we, the mother of all. We call her one of the matriarchs of Aurora. Uh -huh. uh, we have Tom Skilling, the award-winning meteorologist from West Aurora High School uh, as well. So he is one. And then, of course, Mayor Richard C. Irvin uh, from East Aurora High School, uh, the first black or, or a person of color elected mayor of the city of Aurora. Uh, Who's a long time advocate of, sure. of the community. Most definitely. So those are our four that we put into the challenge. Good choice. But on the eighth, we are going to unveil 10 times more of our, much like Andy Warhol had his famous faces, we're going to do the Aurora famous faces. And when we unveil that, there will be at least 50 Aurorans who are uh, in that pop art style um, that uh, some who have the Fun. base of those who have passed away. And I give a hint, people like Marie Wilkinson, who laid the base of a role. Oh, wow. uh, but then there are those who are living, who are moving our city forward. We're excited for that, uh, our, that kickoff on June 8th there. So. June 8th. June 8th is the kickoff officially uh, for us. Now we have a pre-weekend. That's the first weekend in June. Okay. Um, and that is our pop art unveiling at the Aurora Public Art that you just mentioned with our Aurora Public Art beautiful League. museum. Absolutely beautiful. So the call for artists went out and they're coming in like wildfire for new pop art in the Andy Warhol style and pop art style. That's on Friday the 2nd, first Friday's Aurora. You can come see it on Saturday, June 3rd. 
our annual Bomb the Lot experience. And normally, this is a, a, a lot uh, in downtown Aurora with huge canvases, 16 huge canvases. And for the last two years, we brought in graffiti artists, our street oh, artists. Oh, I love that. That culture, they can come sure. in live painting right there. This year, the challenge was, we want you to come and do everything in pop art style. And so on Saturday, June 3rd, you're gonna have from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. music, dancing, and 16 live artists uh, on these canvases painted in pop art style. It's gonna be absolutely fantab uh, fantabulous. That's our word for it this year. It is there. fantabulous. Fantastic and, and fabulous together. And that's our pre-weekend. Uh, and then on Thursday, June 8th, is our official opening to Color Me Warhol. So we're excited. You can, as you can tell. You have a big team of people working <laughs> on this, I we know. Do. We I do. know we're working with Al Whithall, and I know it's your amazing. economic development people yes. are working on it, and your Definitely. art commission people are yeah. working. This was bigger than in the arts it's world crazy. for us, our economic development team. First of all, it's, it's, it's top down. The mayor and the city council said, let's do this. You know, they said if Diana Martinez is doing it, it must be good, so let's work with her and do it. But we had you. to bring our economic development team on because it really does draw people and help build the community. When you come to downtown Aurora, you can, we have 12 new restaurants in East in the last two years alone in downtown Aurora. And Such Aurora, you have the outlet malls. We have the People outlet People can go to the outlet mall. Yes. I mean, you can go to make a weekend of it in Aurora. Most definitely. No question. And our restaurants are on board, so they're going to do menus and different art styles. So when you come to downtown Aurora, Fox Valley Mall, Chicago Premium Outlets, it's a Warhol experience throughout the summer. Is the casino there? The casino is uh, most definitely. Casino's there. So, we, and so you also have the casino. We we have the casino, a major downtown player uh, in the arts, and part of our team of economic uh, impact, development and sure. impact. And so everyone's on board. We're excited. There's a lot to do. There is a lot to do. Definitely. Yeah. Clayton, thank you for coming. Thank you oh, for sharing. Thank you. Thank you. We have a website. Do you have a website that we you do. want people to go we to? Do. I'll let you say yours first. www.aurora-isle.org backslash Warhol, where you Perfect. can find everything Aurora Warhol. Color Me Warhol 2023. Color so. Me Warhol. <laughs> yes, definitely. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, we're so excited. Clayton Muhammad, thank you for being here. Yeah. To learn more about Warhol events happening besides Aurora's website, if you didn't get to that one, you can visit the ccma.org backslash Warhol dash Aurora. So there's two websites because there's so much happening in Aurora. <laughs> we need two websites. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you for your vision. We Thank appreciate you. you.